in order to understand the concepts in this particular topic we need to understand some of the following terms the aperture if we consider figure 1 we have the length the vertical length of the mirror which is length AB length AB is the aperture of the mirror so we define the aperture as the width of the curved mirror we have we also have the pole considering the same diagram we have a line that passes through the center of the mirror this one here is an imaginary line that passes through the center of the full width AB. This particular line meets the mirror at a point. The point where the line meets with the mirror is what we call the pole. So in definition, we say that the pole is the center of the mirror. It is the optical center or the geometrical center, I mean, of the mirror. It is important to note, however, that both the convex and the concave mirrors have some of these features. So all the features that we are talking about here exist in both convex and concave mirrors. So figure 1 is a concave mirror, while figure 2 is a convex mirror. So for the concave mirror, the pole is P. Well, for the, for the concave mirror, we have P as the pole. And then for the convex mirror, we also have P, which is at this point of the mirror. The aperture of the convex mirror is length XY, which is basically the width. We also have the center of curvature C center of curvature C So, the center of curvature can be defined as the center of the sphere of which the mirror forms part. Remember, these mirrors are made from spherical glasses. So, the center of the sphere from which the mirror has been made is the center of curvature of the mirror. For convex mirror, the center of curvature is that. And for the concave mirror, that is the center of curvature. So we note that for the concave mirror, the center of curvature is in front of the mirror. 
while for the convex mirror the center of curvature is behind the center of curvature is behind the mirror so we define the center of curvature c as the center of the sphere of which the mirror forms part we also have the principal focus f the principal focus for the concave mirror is at that point while that of the convex mirror is at that point the principal focus of convex mirror and concave mirror are defined differently so for the concave mirror the principal focus is defined as the point at which all the rays that are parallel and close to the principal axis converge after reflection so this is a ray the imaginary line the imaginary line is the principal axis that is for concave mirror for concave uh, convex mirror the principal axis is the imaginary line so we define the principal focus for the concave mirror as a point along the principal axis where rays that are parallel and close to the principal axis converge after reflection a point of convergence of rays parallel and close to the principal axis however for convex mirror the principal axis the principal focus is a point along the principal axis where rays that are parallel and close to the principal axis appear to diverge from after reflection so this is for concave mirror for convex mirror the rays that are parallel such rays that are parallel and close to the principal axis appear to diverge from f that is why we have the dotted lines they appear to diverge from f after a reflection by the surface we also have the length pf the length pf is known as the focal length the length pf is known as 
the focal length and it is, exists for both the convex and concave mirrors. We also have the length PC or CP The length CP is known as the radius of curvature. The radius of curvature denoted by R. Focal length is denoted by small f. The radius of curvature is the radius of the sphere of which the mirror forms part. The sphere from which the mirror, the portion of the glass was derived. So it is the radius of the sphere of which the mirror forms part. Fc is a length that is equivalent to f. It is a length that is equivalent to F and so that PC is 2F. So that PC is 2F. So as we shall discuss later, we will note that the length PC, which is the radius of curvature, is twice the focal length so that the focal length f is r divided by 2. As noted above, f is the focal length. And it is equivalent to the dif distance pf. While R is the radius of curvature, which is the distance PC. These two distances are related in such a way that twice F is equals to R. And therefore, we note that the focal length of a curved mirror F is given by 2 divided, R divided by 2.